For the simplest setup, you'll need one glass tank full of matured aquarium water, a form of adequate filtration, and a heater set to anything from 24 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. Next, you'll want to add your chosen breeding material. I decided to go with two medium-sized pleco logs. Now we are ready to introduce the breeders. I went with three females and one male, as that's just what I had, but one breeding pair is easily sufficient. As you can see, the male bristlenose has a face full of little worm-like bristles. The female, however, seems to lack these uniquely wonderful decorations. The next day, I woke hoping to see some form of activity in the aquarium but this was not the case. It seems they are still not completely comfortable, but that's okay and completely understandable. So I decided to add a little bit more shelter to the aquarium. I checked again and finally, it seems like they are feeling a little bit more safe and more comfortable in their new tank. The male has already found a suitable breeding location and not far away, one of the females lay resting. Our game plan now is more a matter of patience. Although to speed the breeding process along a little, I decided to feed a higher protein food to the tank, an easy to feed insect based food, bug buffet. And in no time, the food is hunted down by our big female. She eats the food with no hesitation. So a real feast began. The tank is quite cloudy from the feast of bug buffet. Upon closer inspection, the same female that was seen eating the food the night before is super fat and lays in the cave directly beside the male. In the blink of an eye, she makes a beeline for the entrance of the occupied cave. This is their chance to breed. After several minutes of struggling, pushing and interruptions, we see a breakthrough. The female finally gets past the barricading male, but there's a problem. She has to turn around in order to properly lay her eggs. And just like that, the breeding tango is over. Now properly positioned with the male guarding the entrance, she can safely lay her eggs. We can finally see some movement. It seems our big female has left the nest. Her job now is done. It's time to take a look and see what's inside the cave. Just look at those eggs. There's so many. The male is doing a great job of fanning fresh water in and out of the cave. It's been three days now and unfortunately our male has kicked out quite a number of eggs. These are just left where they were. And look, some seem to be already hatching. And for the next two weeks, we can see the little tiny eggs develop into teeny tiny fish. It's such a fascinating process and so much fun. As our baby bristlenoses stayed in the cave and continued to develop, I also continued, well, in a way, with weekly water changes. It's now been 24 days since we started this project, and finally, in the corner of my eye, I noticed some movement. The more I look, the more little babies I spot. So in the hope to bring them all out, I decided to add some food. Choice of food? Zucchini slices. For a matter of fact, it brings everyone out, even our big male who hasn't eaten in a very long time. And before you know it, the tank is crawling with babies 